for the EADS press conference, and I also want to welcome those that are on the on the call with us today. It's my pleasure that uh, to introduce our, our guests. We have Mr. Louis Galois, who is the CEO of EADS. Mr. Ralph Crosby, who is chairman and CEO of EADS North America, and Mr. Sean O'Keefe, who many of you know from his previous positions as the administrator of NASA, secretary of the Navy, deputy director of OMB, and most recently in his role as the head of Washington Operations for General Electric Aviation. Before inviting Mr. Galois to speak, I, I, I wanted just to mention, uh, lay out a couple of ground rules. Uh, please hold your questions till the end of the, of the uh, prepared remarks. And those of you on the phone, if you'll, if you'll mute your phones, but please don't put them on hold. The, the way we're set up today, if you put us on hold and you have hold music, we'll be listening to your hold music. Uh, with that, it's, again, it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Louis Galois, the CEO of EADS. Mr. Galois assumed his current responsibilities as CEO in July of 2007. He's been a member of the board. Uh, 2006, excuse me. He's been a member of the EADS board since 2000, since the beginning of the company. After Mr. Gal uh, after Mr. Galois' remarks, we'll hear from Mr. O'Keefe and Mr. Crosby. Mr. Galois. Thank you very much, Guy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, very pleased to be with you today and to make a special announcement that is particularly important to EADS and our continuing activities and operations here in the United States. As you know, EADS North America was formed in the fall of 2002 under the leadership of RAF, RAF Cosby, as chairman and CEO. At that time, we had a relatively small operation in Washington, D.C., and comparatively little business with the Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. From then to now, we have grown tremendously. Our North American revenues have more than tripled, and we have become a primary aviation supplier to the Army with a UH-72 Lakota light utility helicopter. When I'm giving this figure, I am putting aside Airbus, which is uh, our biggest uh, business in the United States sphere. But I am concentrated on uh, uh, the activity of uh, EADS North America. In February 2008, the North of Goman EADS team was selected by the U.S. Air Force to provide the next generation, the KC-45, less than six years after the creation of EADS. North America. It's uh, clearly an outstanding performance, and uh, my neighbor OF is uh, not for nothing in that. We now count the Department of Homeland Security, the U.S. Navy, Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, Customs and Border Protection, and other law enforcement agencies among our customers. These significant accomplishments occurred under the leadership of RAF and have resulted in a significant expansion of its executive duties and responsibilities. So today I'm pleased to announce that EADS is expanding its executive management team in North America. It's with a great, great pleasure that I announce that Sean O'Keefe, my other neighbor, will join EADS North America as its new uh, chief executive officer as of November the 1st. Sean is known to all of you through his previous government position, and uh, uh, Guy, you have given some of them, head of NASA, secretary of the Navy, senior position at the White House and the Defense Department, leadership positions in academia and the private sector, where Sean currently serves as a corporate officer <coughs> at the General Electric Company and prior board of directors experience at DuPont and McDermott International as well as present seats on the battle and census boards. Sean will assume the duties of leading and expanding our large portfolio of business here in the US, particularly with the Department of Defense and Homeland <coughs> Security. We also look to Sean to lead our efforts in growing our activities in space and other related areas. Sean will join our global leadership team as a member of the EADS Executive Committee. Sean's extensive experience and demonstrated leadership will make an immediate and positive contribution to our activities in the U.S. and throughout the global operations of EADS. Sean, welcome to our team. I am also pleased to announce that Ralph Crosby is not going anywhere. Ralph has great grid to remain as chairman 
uh, of the EADF North America Board of Directors responsible to work with Sean in leveraging the significant talent and experience we have on the U.S. board. Very importantly, Ralph also will oversee our capture efforts in the ongoing tanker competition with Northrop Grumman. No one has more experience in the area and Ralph will be invaluable as we work with Northrop Grumman in offering to the Air Force the most capable tanker in the world. These new assignments represent a significant change for EADS and reflect not only our rapid growth in North America, but also our ongoing commitment to this market and to our important North American customers. The expansion of our U.S. executive management team heralds the new phase of our growth and success <coughs> in this key market that is so important to the future of EADS. May I have a drink? <laughs> Over the last decade, we have established a reputation with our customers as responsive and creative problem solvers. The executive management appointments I announced today are important to assure that we have <coughs> the leadership in, class to build to, in place to build on this reputation and devise a strategy to take EADS to a higher level in this important market in, in a very way. <coughs>